curcumin. Nice. Do cellar. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. All right. You guys want to have a beer? Uh, yeah, sure. we never say That's no to a good for. beer. All right. Beer. And I have a, I, I have a guess based on your the look of the cellar that it'll be a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got quite a bit of good stuff here. You can feel free to take a look around. Uh, there's, you know, we've got some of our different Trappist stuff up there. Lost Abbey, Phantom, Stroisa stuff here. Here was the Saint Bernardus I was telling you about. <laughs> there's only a nice thousand of them made. Um, and uh, they're signed by Marco Pozzarelli, a good friend of mine. He's an Italian fellow who runs over the uh, brewery. And uh, so, for example, uh, there's all of our cheeses there. Panna pot here, four large formats, doll still knock, um, dirty horse. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of like where we store our stuff. Uh, we've got about, let's say, at any given time, about 120 kegs down here. Um, you know, uh, we've got, uh, you know, all the years of Thomas Hardy's. Um, we had a couple of those over at Monk's. Yeah, really good. There's, uh, nice. yeah, all the Kiwi <laughs> Lambics. There's like Uplands Kiwi Lambic. Um, nice. Hair of the dog Dave, which is, you know, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is what we do. This is it's the real deal. Yeah, yeah. So, it's with good reason that you are uh, the best beer bar on the planet. Yeah. Well, huh. I guess it's all subjective who's to say who's better than anyone else, you know. Um, we just like beer and. Uh, Number one beer bar on planet Earth is Tornado, <laughs> San Francisco, Lower Haight Street. Dave Keen, I love you, and when you die, sell it all to me. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's right. Have a little pan of poot. Oh, Old Monk's Ale, this is the first one drank in the United States. Oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. That is so cool. You betcha. A little dark Belgian beer. Congratulations. Well, cheers. Well cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. Thank you for having me. 96? 96. Shimei Reserve. Shimei Grand Reserve. Absolutely. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful beer. fantastic. Yeah, I've actually had some 30 uh, year old lambics coming in too, which I wish. Uh, oh, so, lambics age well? I wouldn't. They are I don't the know. best beers to age, if any. Really? Over any other beer. Lambics are the beer to age huh. over anything else. All right. That's a fact. I'll hear, yeah. I hear you. Absolutely. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Well, you know, it's it's hard. You know what grapes age in a wine, but yep. beers, a lot of beers are based on freshness. So. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, less than, as they say, 1% of the beers in the world are able to be uh, aged. But you want to make sure, obviously, that they're bottle conditioned. Um. You know, and generally high in alcohol, but not all. Like, uh, you know, uh, this is a low alcohol beer, which is the uh, our special L from uh, Anchor Steam. Uh, whether it's just the dark malts with the low acidity or, or whatever it is, um, it just uh, tends to age very well. Um, we opened up a uh, 19, uh, what was it, uh, 08 Jubilation L, which was fantastic. You know? It just depends. Some of them are hit and miss, you know. You guys want to open up a 1997 Chimay Grand Reserve? <laughs> yeah, I would never say no to. Uh, you like Chimay Grand Reserve? I do like Chimay. Is uh, yeah. I mean, I'm a Belgian it. guy. I mean, oh, yeah, let's open up one of these hither. Yeah, we can't Holy get in a lot crap. of Belgian items in Vermont. It really check stays. that out right there. 97. Uh, 97 Chimay Grand Reserve. So you know, based if you look up on the light there, you yep. see some of the yeast is completely caked on and a little bit suspended. It's going to be an interesting pour. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. What is that? Floaty. Well, we'll get some floaties. Uh, yeah, well, hey. Let's see if we get a little... Iron. iron. Do we get the... Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a beautiful sign, my dear friend. <laughs> it's a good thing we have the super sonic that. microphone. I see fog. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's bubbles, there's carbonation. Yeah, let's pound this away. Man, that thing, uh... Oh! We're going deep now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little beautification, folks. At 
out of my personal stash, man. <laughs> nice. Let it be out of vacation. Nice. I got the best. This is Fishy. why you come to level main, right? <laughs> this is right. <laughs> Look at these. Awesome. I gotta get the label on there. Oh yeah, man. Nice. Yeah. All right, man. It's just beautiful. Nice. <sighs> Yeah. So, and in the cellar, you know what happens in the cellar stays in the cellar. Exactly. So. <laughs> this guy is just out. absolutely, <laughs> man. Just enjoy, guys. What's going on in here? It's just beauty. Beer, beer, beer drinker than we are. Russian River Supplication. It's a brown ale, aged in oak barrels with lactobacillus, Pediococcus saccharomyces, and Britannomyces. And that is why you come to Ebenezer's. <laughs> yeah, and I imagine probably some more volumes too. Drive really slow. Huh. <laughs> ah, the man's still young. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, here we are, left with the opportunity to dig around in the cellar of Ebenezer's in Lovell, Maine, the number one rated beer bar. On the planet, according to uh, Beer Advocate and uh, Rape Beer. And uh, for good effing reason, I'll say, because I mean, I know this thing might end up on YouTube. But uh, look at the selection of crap that this guy has amassed here in Lovell, Maine. I mean, we're in the middle of freaking no place, and these beers are uh, out of this world. I mean, a selection, things, we've got an entire box of miscellaneous years of Thomas Hardy's just, uh, you know, piled in here. Everything from 1986, 94, which is by far probably one of the best years Thomas Hardy's was uh, bottled there. Uh, Harvest Ale, Upland, um, all kinds of Upland, including their uh, Kiwi Lampic down here in the cellar at Ebenezer's. Um, yeah, of course, you got your Trappist, you got your Orval, you got your, you know, your standards. Lost Abbey. Probably the biggest collection of Lost Abbey beers in one place that we've ever seen. He's back. Alright, John, you want to join us? Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he was up there. He said he'd be coming, so. Alright. Let's see, so. We were just All exploring right. your cellar, I'm not going to lie, do you, you know. Oh, no, yeah. please, you can, I tell everyone, just go through whatever you want. Try not to break anything, but... We go through. didn't break anything or drink anything. But it does happen, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. But this is Leafman's Gutenbond, um, provisional beer. Uh, they do magnums of stuff. Uh, they do a 1999 uh, Millennium Provisional Beer, and this is like a, kind of like a Flemish old brewn, so to speak. Um, and they do a very, very nice example. Oh, wow, look at that little cork, huh? little stubby guy. So this is 96, and you see the best buyer here is 2005. So let's see what we got here. This is my glass, I think. Look at that, man. What a nice guy not promoting us. <laughs> <laughs> 40 Putney Road. <laughs> right, 40 Putney Road, bed and breakfast. That's yeah. like stay. That's right. Absolutely. All you New Yorkers, stop on your way up to Lovell, Maine. <laughs> That's right. Perfect place to stay on your way to Lovell, Maine. That's right. Break oh, up your girl. trip. <laughs> Take a good look at that. Now that's complexity. Really. I mean, oh. to the truest form. Oh, cheers. Well, thank you. Thank you. Beer, thank you. beer advocate, beer fly. You cannot do justice to this place. Ebenezer's Pub, Lovell, Maine. I swear we have, we swear by you guys. But, uh... To say they're the number one beer bar on the planet is not doing this place justice. This place is awesome. I mean, amazing selection of beers, amazing staff, unbelievable uh, host. Chris, uh, we can't say enough about this place. If you're ever in the New England area, Lovell, Maine, Ebenezer's Pub, be there. 